Welcome to the Nightcap. It's your girl, Carolina Sanchez, and we're asking the age-old question. What do men want? I mean, is it a nurturing mother figure? Is it an equal partner? Or is it just a roommate that puts out? Mm -mm -mm. We're going to have to get a drink to discuss this. And I've got Caleb here with a beautiful cocktail. So this is a classic daiquiri Ooh. made with Santa Teresa rum, uh, 1796. Mm. And it's delicious. You're going to have to show me how to make that sure later. Will. But first, I've got people on the couch eager to get into this question. What do men want? Let's get into it. Yeah, what's up for a nightcap? Chill, you know, kick back. All right, before I dive into it with my special guest, we have a little video to kick things off, so check it out. What do men want in a woman? Broke men want fixers. Immature men want mothers. Lazy men want enablers. Insecure men want puppets. Abusive men want objects, but good men want partners. Hardworking men want supporters, and men of God want their rib. Good stuff. <laughs> okay. okay. The, the, the guests okay. are happy. They, they are very okay. happy. I bet you he is not single. He is not single. <laughs> There's All no right. way single. We've got Good my girl Sky Houston back. <laughs> We've got Lydia Green here for the very first time. Hello. We've got Tressa Ellaby back in the building. And the host of the After Zardy Zion is What's here. Hey. All right, so what do we think about that? TikTok. Everything he said, every, every single yes. thing he said in that order. Yeah, yes. no, that's very, very. That was true. amazing. That was. Yeah. I, I agree. I, I can't say nothing. Nothing more. Nothing more. No, it no. wasn't cheesy. It, was it wasn't over no. the top. It was kind of cheesy. You, yeah, you don't think I, he was but, pandering? Let me tell you no, why it's not I mean, cheesy. He, no. This is this is why it's not cheesy. He understands there are levels, mm. there are elements, there are pieces to the puzzle. Every man isn't going to be all those things every single time. But the core of a man, if he's healthy, he will embody those things. Mm. So he hit everybody. That shouldn't be anybody that was missed in that. Right. Ooh. Absolutely. It's a pretty good solution. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Zion, you've seen your fair share of relationships on the after. Oh. <laughs> no, like, not you I personally. On your podcast. On your podcast. Oh. So you know. Um. Uh, what, what, do you, what are your... Thoughts and feelings. Of the video? Of the video. Oh, uh, um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it gave me very much like pick me vibes. Mm, I think yeah. it's very much like I can say the same thing and I'm not that person. So gotcha. I can tell you what you wanna hear. He's mm -hmm. gonna tell you what you wanna hear. First of all, it's a TikTok, so he's gonna definitely tell you what you wanna hear. He's on a podcast. So truly, is he that type of man? Probably not. See, I wasn't judging it for him. Yeah, yeah, we're not really judging it. Do you agree general. with what he said? Obviously, he was uh, pandering. I would say no. I still, I would still stand on a no. Honestly. Okay. Only because I feel like. I personally feel like men and women are the same, honestly. I feel oh. like women bring the same thing that men bring, men bring the same thing that women bring, women have the same problems that men have. Everybody got the same problems. All right, talk to me. Explain. Okay. Okay, so I love y'all, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not trying to do that. I'm just using everybody's <laughs> example. Okay, so I feel like all women have this like bad like energy that you know y'all try to put on men as well too, right? Okay, so like, let me give y'all a question. What's one thing y'all be like, I don't like this about a man? Like non-negotiable, you're not dealing with it. Like what is your one thing? Dishonesty. Yeah. Dishonesty. Have yeah, you ever lied? Yeah, but that's just like blanket for all people. Have you ever lied to a man? Oh, yeah, of course. I'm not perfect. Nobody is. It's just like, what hill are you willing to die on? I mean, when yeah. I was a kid, when, you know, <laughs> when I was in my 20s, but I mean, lie about what? I'm too I'm too old to be lying. So it's a non-negotiable. And you know, if I do like this, you know, I am too old to be lying. There's nothing to lie about. Do y'all have friends that y'all know lie to their men? Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. Of course. Yes. Yes. So, but that has nothing to do with me. Yeah, that's none of my business. I'm, that's yeah. that's not. But, but we're speaking but in I, general. We're speaking in general. But I tell though. my friends when they're wrong. I tell my friends when they start things, when they are the cause of something. Like you, you are are creating a situation because you up here lying or doing right. things to get their attention and things like that. Like that's non-negotiable. There's no reason to lie at okay, all. Okay. So both sexes that. want. Honesty. Honesty. All right, let, let's put that out. I think, right. yeah. I think he's I think most speaking people, in human yeah. sense. Yes. Humans most need have basic needs, things. basic wants when it comes to interacting with the opposite sex or whatever they are doing. Agreed. There's a base level of what yeah. humans want. Mm -hmm. But I think no one is the same in life kind of like nurtures what you want and when you want it. So right. you can't blanket statement anything. That's why I like what I liked about the video. Mm -hmm. He laid it out in stages. You can identify somewhere in that. So yeah. I want like you asked the question, what's one thing you hate about men? I didn't answer because I've been able to date different types of men at different stages and each one different. wanted something based on yeah. the quality of a man he was. Right. So what he needed at the time based on his life 
Maybe I didn't have it at that time, but I added that to my toolbox, understanding the quality of man I want and right. what that man asks for. I'm going right. to have to have that. So that's why it's never a blanket with what men want, period. So yeah. there is no one answer. This right. is Absolutely what men not. want. Nobody's yeah. just one thing. Yeah. I mean, that's just like the inherent like ground level. Nobody's one thing, man or a woman. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. But I mean, I can't really say anything because I have a horrible track record. I've dated <laughs> all of these people. I ignore every red flag. It's okay. It's fine. I'm trying to break the cycle. But no, I get that. You like see it, but right. you need to know what you want, but you have to actually put it in action. That's the important part. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think you need to know what you want at the moment that you're engaging exactly. that particular person, person that you want. Mm. Right. It's somebody specific that you want. And right. are you able to give him what he wants, when he wants it? Mm -hmm. And will he give you back that yeah. in return? Because right. if you listen to social media, um, basically, it makes it seem like what men want are women under 35 uh, <laughs> that are fit, feminine, and uh, and um, attractive and agreeable. Mm -hmm. If that if that's that's what it seems like everyone is 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 saying, you know, which means that I'm 45 years old, so that means that that would just put me out of every oh, and with no kids. That was the that's oh, the no other kids. thing, and no okay. kids and no kids. That's the that's the preference, but that's like this social media preference, but everybody is not exactly the same. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are still plenty of women that are my age or older. They got a man. I, I don't anymore, but I'm just saying that <laughs> it exists. Yeah, you know what I mean? Just... So, you know, you got to figure out what that man wants. I will say that the one stereotype that we hear over and over again, though, is that they really just want sex, and it doesn't matter what sexual orientation is. Right. <laughs> hey, right. They just, uh, they just want a bone. I mean, when people say yeah. that sex isn't important, they're they're lying. They're lying because that's not true. It's important to me. It's important. Yeah, that's a that's a different level of connection. There are many different levels, and that's one of them. When people mm -hmm. say that sex doesn't matter. That's a that's just a bullface. All right, we're gonna yeah. dive a little deeper into this coming yeah. up, but I'm gonna leave you with this video to ponder. So that's all guys want. All guys want is pussy. Yeah. Or could it be that the men that only want pussy, the men that only want sex from women, is because that's all that the women have to offer? Because for me, if pussy's all you're offering, pussy's all I, I want. Love. Okay, okay, well, um, yeah, you think about that and we'll be right back to discuss it. You stay right there. Welcome back to the Nightcap. I've been talking about what men really want with my friend Sky Houston, <laughs> Lydia Green, Tressa Ellaby, and Zion from the After Zardy. And we left with this video. Let's watch it one more time. That's all guys want. All guys want is pussy. Yeah. Or could it be that the men that only want pussy, the men that only want sex from women, is because that's all that the women have to offer? Because for me, if pussy's all you're offering, pussy's all I, I want. Look on the they women's like, faces. They didn't even know what to say. Oh, that's so funny. Men I, I, have to still t have, you have to get, like, give the woman, get to know her, you know? Yeah. When, now, obviously, when a person shows you who they are, I believe them the first time, but are you going to take the time to find out what more she has to offer? Or are you just assuming that based on what she has on, that that's all she has to offer. Where is it actually coming from? Right. Why? Wh where? Where is that assumption that but when that's you have all so she many has to offer? Fish in the sea. Yeah. Exactly. Like they do. You really have the time to like really investigate this? If fish, that's what like, they want. Mm -hmm. If that's what they want. But other than that, there are men, especially ones that may not be financially stable. They may be uh, trying to start their business or trying to grow their business, and they get into this thing where relationships don't matter. They don't want one and they don't have the time to 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 uh, deal with one. So all they want, they had literally will make themselves. I don't want a relationship. All I want to do is just have sex. And that's all I want to do because Z I don't Z have time. Z Scott, for Scott here, Scott. There are some men that are like that. And, that, mm -hmm. and it, it doesn't matter what she has to offer because it goes right over his all his right. head. I don't think Sk that's what Sky's it is. got. Sky's I'm got. Not, I'm not saying all men. I'm just. I'll just gave an example of the type you jump of in. man. What's up? That you know. I think something went over the ladies' heads. What he said. He said, if all she's offering is that, then that's what I'm gonna take. Let me tell you, like a wise man told me one time. He said, men play the numbers game. Mm. So, like you said, mm -hmm. there's so many fish in the sea, etc. They are very analytical. Men are very analytical. At least the men I've dealt with, and they're very honest. They're very transparent. 
if they see that that's all you offer, you don't have no brain in your head, you can't offer their life. They already looked at you and, and, and sized you up. You. Ba okay, yes. you mentioned what you're wearing. They mm -hmm. kind of sized you up from the beginning because that's how you presented yourself. Men are eyes first. However you present yourself, and if you show value after that, they like what they see, but if you show yourself with more value after that, after they start talking to you, they, okay, let me give her a chance. They watch your movements. They see how you mm -hmm. move as a woman, and then they determine, okay, I'm gonna put her in this category. I got my roster over here because I'm men are. It's not that they don't want relationships. I believe men do want relationships. No, I don't. They, they, they don't. finish. No. I, they they want no. relationships, but what they want first is peace. They have an internal urge that we know not of as women. Um, sex is big for them physically, but what they're doing with the woman with women is trying to see who is the one for me because they also need a need a woman's touch. All right, Zion, come on, chime in. Okay, As I'm a man it. here, and you, you're bisexual, so <laughs> yeah. you, you've dated men, you've dated women, what's up? Okay, so for you, I want to ask like a question before I answer. Oh. What space are you speaking from? Are you like single, taken? What are you? I'm speaking from a woman who deals with heterosexual men. That, that's all I know of. Okay, so to me it sounds like, okay, like with your answer, things like that, no, like, you know, respectfully, like, you know, everything's respectful. All right, so basically it seems like your answers are very, like, too perfect. Like, it's like very like, oh yeah, men need this. I feel like basically like in reality, it's like, like y'all already said, every man is different. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, and then you kind of came back and was like, but a man loves sex. Not every man does like sex, honestly. Like some men do just want somebody that can just like nurture them. And then like the first video we watched, the man was speaking on how like, uh, you may need this because it is, you may need this because it is. Some people like, there's been times where like, I've been people and I don't want sex because like, I've been very sexualized all my life. So like, I'm not that into that for real. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So if I am meeting somebody like, yeah, you can be attractive. But like, I'm not thinking you cute because I want to No, I'm thinking you cute. Yeah, cool. But like, can you help me get further along in life? Or can you help me figure out like what I need to do or how to get closer to like religion if I want to get closer to religion yes. or how to like, maybe I don't even know how to take the trash out. Show me how to do that. My best friend, like she's very built, right? Mm -hmm. And I guess I stand for her too because like everybody automatically assumes anything she wears, she's trying to like get attention mm -hmm. sexually. And I feel like I've seen like even like older people, like older people. Like sexualize her, like, oh, you wearing this because it is, or you trying to be fast, but it's like, no. And like, I she like can't it. go out in public because, like, she went somewhere in Houston where, like, they were like, oh, your shorts are too short, but it's like, she can't help that. Like, she's built, so like, the shorts rise up. So I just feel like everybody isn't going for sex, everybody isn't doing stuff to mm -hmm. also, like, oh, come sex, me. Yeah, like, that's yeah, not yeah. the vibe. It's yeah. just like, I agree. If that's what As you catch, that's what you catch. But like, everything, I completely empathize. Yeah, with so that. I feel like, I yeah. feel like it shouldn't come down to sex. I think, like, yeah, if you are just giving out, like you say, if you just giving out pussy, then you giving out pussy. Yeah. That's how. Mm -hmm. But you know what I'm saying? But like, Okay, so there's been times where I'm just giving out some dick. Cool. But there's other times where I'm giving out dick and love. You know what I'm saying? But right. it's like, you're not giving out both. And then also, you know, you know, when you meet somebody in the club, the bookstore, the church, library, wherever, coffee the shops, wherever y'all say y'all <laughs> met them, um, Tinder, whatever y'all going to get them, you know from when you first meet them what it's going to be and what it's not going to be. And then not sometimes always. you can make mistakes where you yeah. thought you was going to link up, you thought you found yeah. somebody, then you end up liking them too much. But yeah. Yeah. it's just a happen. dice roll with all that situation. So I feel like you can't put it just on like, I guess I'm speaking for y'all. Oh, no, don't speak for Okay, no. <laughs> we, we could definitely get into this conversation, but we done life. ran out of time. Yeah. Oh, we're going to have to bring y'all back to continue this yeah. conversation. Yeah. Cheers to y'all. I appreciate you coming on and share. I, I, done finish I know that they have so many thoughts to share. So much to say. <laughs> but I have to learn how to make this daiquiri. So no. coming up next, I'm heading behind the bar so Caleb can help me shake this up. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the nightcap. We've been talking about what men want, but what I want is to learn how to make this daiquiri. So I'm behind the bar now with my guy, Caleb, and you're here to do what, baby? Back that glasses! All right, y'all, we're gonna start with a classic daiquiri using uh, Santa Teresa rum. We're gonna do one ounce of lime. And one ounce of simple syrup. He's starting with one and I'm starting with the other. We're gonna switch it off. And that's the thing about daiquiris. They're literally just three ingredients. Classic, straight out of Cuba. It's out of Cuba? It's out of Cuba, yeah. Oh. The original daiquiri, we're all, then we're gonna hit uh, two ounces of Santa Teresa, 1796, Ooh. Venezuelan rum. Venezuelan rum, rum, it, rum's originally from where though? It's, 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 it's Caribbean, it's all day Caribbean. Ooh, okay. you, can find, you can find rum anywhere that sugar cane will grow. Okay. You get two good scoops right here. We're gonna take it, we're gonna top it off like that, and then we're gonna shake together. We're gonna take it, we're gonna snap that, how do you do Strain that without it? hitting it? Hold on, you snap. Hit it. <laughs> you got it, you got it, baby. You got it, baby. No, I gotta hit it, I gotta hit it. 
We're gonna double strain oh, to get all that ice chip that's right off the actual uh, shake that's okay. there. I'm gonna pass this over to you. Appreciate you. There's that strainer for you. Alrighty. So Santa Teresa is actually gonna be sponsoring the, uh, Daiquiri Day. We're doing Daiquiri Day tomorrow at Trash Panda. Uh, National Daiquiri Day tomorrow. We were actually doing a DAC off there, uh, which we have 24 a DAC -off. bartenders. Not a off, but a, a DAC -off. off. A That's daiquiri right. off. Then we got a nice little garnish here of a dehydrated lime. And that's your classic daiquiri right there. I love it. And this is what the bartenders are going to be This is what the bartenders in. are going to be and competing And y'all should come. Literally tomorrow night, or tomorrow in the afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon, starting at 4. And I'm going to be uh, guest judging. So Here bartenders, if you're showing up, you better mm -hmm. know how to bring it. Bring it like my guy, Caleb, because this is delicious. Actually, me. <laughs> I made this, and it's delicious. <laughs> All right. Well, coming up next, we have a very special performance by Fleshy. So you better stay right there because Afro beats are coming in. Perfect with the back. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome back to the Nightcap. It's time for that performance we've been talking about. Fleshy's in the building for his television debut with DJ Anarchy, Behind the Wheels. Take it away, Fleshy. Oh, yeah. Baby, just in the cage. Baby, I feel contagious. 
Yes! Oh my God, that was amazing! Thank you, thank you, thank All you. Right, appreciate so it. people who, who are getting to know you for the first time, who are you, Fleshy? Uh, my name is Fleshy Aloy. I'm an Afrobeat-based artist here in Houston. I moved all the way from Nigeria with a bag and a dream, and I'm just here trying to kill it. You try to kill it. You killed it. Did that's you kill I, it? That's all I can he do. That's all I can do. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Thank all you. Right. Thank you. Well, we put your, your Instagram there so people can find you. DJ Anarchy, thank you. And y'all, thanks so much for the wonderful conversation. Cheers to you at home. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys next time. Yes. Oh, that was so good.